different state. The community over there, the Sfaradim, are not educated in Torah at all. They're not educated. They're all working people. He is a person that learned a lot in Yeshiva, so he knows all the laws. And everybody knows that Sfaradim needs to eat meat that it's Bet Yosef, Halak Bet Yosef. So when you live in Queens, what reason you have not to get Halak Bet Yosef, or in Brooklyn, or in Muncie, or in other places, or in Israel? You have places that sell Bet Yosef. Okay. But in some places, it's very difficult to get Bet Yosef, because the Ashkenazim control the market, the meat market, and it's only Ashkenazi butchers. And the Sfaradim are a minority over there, and for the 2%, 3% Sfaradim they have over there, they're not going to go out of the way to start ordering a whole department of Bet Yosef. So they just buy glad kasher. Sfaradim is not good. They have to eat Bet Yosef. Rav Ovadia yourself himself writes in his Yabi Omer book that if you go to a house of Ashkenazi, or in a place that you cannot get Bet Yosef, you can eat their glad kosher meat based on safek sfeka. There are two doubts here. One doubt, who is right in the halacha, the Marana Bet Yosef, or Abi Moshe Iser Lish, the Ramah of the Ashkenazim. They have an argument 500 years ago when the Shulchan Aruch was written. And the second doubt is that this particular meat could be Bet Yosef, because the Ashkenazim do not separate. All the shechita, when the long was okay, glad kosher. Some of the longs is... Smooth, some is a little bit less smooth. By the Ashkenazim, they don't separate. Oh, this is totally smooth, naturally, bet yourself. This is, we have to make it smooth with the hand, so that's glad. They don't separate. For them, it's all kosher. By places of Sfaradim, they must separate. This goes to the Ashkenazim, this goes to the Sfaradim. But since the Ashkenazim control the city, and all the rabbis, the Ashkenazim, and the yeshiva, and the butcher, they only get glad kasher. So you come to house of a rabbi Ashkenazi, or regular Ashkenazi, not a rabbi, and he gives you glad kosher me. What are you going to tell them? It's taref for me? Avovad Yaseh, you can count on safek sfeka. One doubt that, that maybe the Rama was right in halacha. You don't need totally smooth. And the second, the second doubt is maybe this particular animal was Bet Yosef, because it's all mixed. 50-50 of 70-30, there's a doubt here. Right? If Ashkenazim slaughter 100 cows, 20-30 of them was glad, halak, Bet Yosef, and 70 was not Bet Yosef, but it all got mixed. And they cut it, and they make steaks, and it goes all over. Nobody knows. You're all the piece of meat. Maybe it's Bet Yosef. So because there are two doubts, what happened when there are two doubts? The Torah say you follow the majority. One doubt, make it 50-50. Two doubts, make it 75-25. 50-50. Now on the 50% that it's not allowed, you also have a doubt 50-50. You understand? So you take 25 from here and it goes to the other side. It's 75 against 25. So the majority, that now, according to the Torah, you can eat it lechatchila. Rav Ovadia Yosef. But in your house, come on. You're looking for shortcuts, go and find Bet Yosef. We're talking now when you came to a place and they ask you to eat and you don't want to embarrass them and it's going to cause tension. You're going to marry an Ashkenazi girl, you're sitting by your parents, now they're meeting you, they invited you for a meal. What are you going to tell them? Your meat is not kosher for me? It's going to create a big problem. So this guy told me, what, is it? Why, what am I supposed to do? I see a Sfaradim here eat not Bet Yosef. They buy glad kasher from the Ashkenazim because somebody started to bring them cheap meat because he doesn't want to make profit. He only want them to eat kosher meat. But he doesn't get Bet Yosef. He can only get glad kosher. So he sell it for very, very inexpensive price that the people will not continue to eat taref like they used to do. They used to buy not kosher meat at all in a regular goy supermarket. So I told him, don't dare to say a word. Don't dare to talk. Why? Because then you're going to bring the situation back to the situation when they used to go and buy taref. At least now they eat glad kosher. What did they eat before? They had chazir, donkey meat, camel meat. What do you think they sell in the butchers? Whatever comes. If you're going to ruin his, what he's doing right now, then the people will go back. They're not going to pay the full prices. They're going to go back to buy taref. They don't care. They don't understand these people. 
Ignore it. You eat chicken, don't eat meat. They ask you why you don't eat meat. Tell them I rather eat chicken for health reason. That's it. Don't create fight. You see, you need to know. You need to have experience when to make a big deal, when not to make a big deal. If you don't know a lot, you make big deal about nothing. Same thing with your wife. Certain things she did, you fight with her. In the end, it wasn't even a sin. It was only a chumrah. And, they, and you drove her crazy. Okay, before we finish, 